Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. Uh, this week's video is all about the paperwork that you put inside a painting. So things like certification, valuation letter, that kind of thing. I've been asked about that quite a few times, so we're going to cover that off in a few minutes' time. Just before we was into the office where it's a lot warmer, I just want to show you the painting that is behind me. Now, I painted that on a live painting stream. Yes, you heard me correctly from here at Suarez HQ a couple of weeks ago. If you've not seen the live streams already, we'll pop a, a link up there or somewhere in the playlist for all the live streams we've done thus far. We're doing live streams at 7.30 p.m. GMT every single Wednesday, come what may, something different to get your teeth into every week. This one behind me, which is called Prismatic Warp, thank you Ian Holmes, because he named it for us and he's one of the viewers on the live stream, is one of the creations that, uh, that I came up with. So we're having a huge amount of fun, really, really are genuinely with these live streams. Now, if you haven't already seen one or you're not already subscribed, please, please do so. You know, we're trying to push back some of these boundaries about, you know, between art and the artist and what's creative. So, you know, get involved in the chat. You can always watch it on Catch Up, but please come watch the live broadcasts. I'm putting them out on social media every week and uh, I'm sticking them out on uh, the channel. And by being subscribed and turning on your notifications, you can see exactly when the links come out, when it's all live and you'll catch it, like I say, 7.30 p.m. every Wednesday. We're loving it. We're having an absolute blast. Just wanted to quickly show you that well worth a watch. Right, let's go into the office where it's a little bit warmer. Okay, might even be able to take my hat off for once because <laughs> it is about minus 25 in there at the moment. That's what it feels like. Right, so um, like I say, I've been asked this quite a few times, so I think uh, I just want to cover it off. We're just going to have a quick look at the paperwork certainly that I include uh, when I'm packing up a painting or giving paperwork to a client. So I'm going to tell you about something free in just a second as well. So we'll cover that off at the end. But this is just three very, very basic pieces of paperwork I always include in all my paintings. So the very first one I'm going to show you. Uh, now, this is a real one. Uh, this is my certification for the actual painting itself. So what I'm going to do, let me just grab something to point out the bits with. I'm sure you can see that already. So I'm just going to point out the various um, components that make up my certificates of authenticity. So obviously I've got my, my company brand on the top. Okay. And then this is really just certifying what this piece of paperwork is about. The key points here is my painting has a title. So I've got the title there. I've also got a picture of it. So it links together uh, and I'm guaranteeing that it's one of mine. When the painting was created, obviously, uh, you know, for this year's stuff, it'll be 2020. I'm saying it's an original. I've got a, this little printed seal at the bottom, which is not not a stamped seal, but it's a printed one. And over the top of that, I've got some very nice holographic stickers, which look quite nice and shiny. And over here, the important thing, which is where my signature is going to go. So uh, that's saying that that's me, care of my company name. And uh, admittedly, this is now 2020, <laughs> um, but this was produced in 2019. So it's really just tying up all the dates together. So that's my design for a certificate. And what I'm also going to do, what I've done is prepare Here's what I made earlier. I've prepared a document that if you want this and you want this template, that you can download it for free for yourself. Now, there are a couple of caveats with that. Number one is it's a Photoshop document, so you would need a working copy of Adobe Photoshop, not affiliated with them, but I've used it for 20 years, a fantastic piece of editing software. You're going to need that to be able to edit and open this document. You can open it as a read-only document in Adobe uh, PDF Reader but you won't be able to edit it. So if you can open it as a Photoshop document, uh, I've put these various blocks here. If I actually pop that down with mine, look, you'll see what I'm talking about. These blocks are essentially, you can remove that and put your own logo in its place. Um, and where I've put was painted by, now the artist bit you'll take out and you can just put your own name in there. So if your name's jo John Smith, you can put in was painted by John Smith. Uh, put in whatever the painting name or sculpture or whatever it is that you're doing. I mean, to be honest with you, this covers off any multitude of artworks, to be honest with you. Stick a photo of it there, because no doubt you'll have a photo of it. Um, now, if it's not hand painted, say it's a sculpture or it's a ceramic, you can put is a hand you know, uh, created or if it's glass, a hand blown or whatever you want to put there, you can change the words. And then you can just insert the year of its uh, manufacture uh, over there. And then again, here is hand signed by and then you just stick your name in. I mean, 
It's all very basic, but let's just cover it off. Here where this circle is, uh, you can choose to put, well, you can take it away or delete it, or you can put in, if you come back over to mine, something like one of these seals. I just designed that, so, you know, ready for the hologram to go on, because I quite like that. So that just gives you a space if you want to do the same thing. And then finally, where your signature is going to go, it can be you, John Smith at John Smith Art uh, 2020. So relatively straightforward. All of that can be edited in Photoshop. I just really prefer it as a, an editing tool because Photoshop is an image editing tool. So I do all the images on the website through Photoshop, but it's just very easy because I'm practiced at it to also do the certificates that way. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to put a link down below for you to download that PDF, uh, which is a link that will go to the site. But once you're on the site, you'll be able to grab hold of it. No problem. Okay, two other pieces of paper that I put in. So the next one is going to be a, an invoice. And uh, I don't know, you know, whether you um, whether you use like an accounting software, but obviously I'm, you know, I'm a limited company and uh, you know, I'm a proper business. So um, mine goes on this. Well, everything goes on this really nice laid paper. It's made by a brand called Conqueror. I am not affiliated to them in any way, shape or form, but it's a really, really nice paper. And uh, I'm just showing this one as a cash sale. But ultimately, that's just an invoice that gets produced in my accounting system. And I put a paid stamp and a signature on the bottom. Then whoever gets that with their paperwork knows that it's been paid for, which is great. And then the last one. OK, so the last one I like to put in is an insurance valuation. Uh, you know, irrespective of the value of the works that you're selling, I think it's a really, really good practice uh, to pop this in because then your clients at the other end can have something to give their insurance assessor. God forbid anything happens to it. So it falls off the wall, uh, the house burns down, okay, heaven forbid, it gets damaged or it gets stolen. And for any reason, if a replacement has to be issued, this then covers the cost of doing that for the insurance assessor. As you can see, this is this matches up the one that I've done the certificate for, and I'm valuing it at oh, one billion dollars. Yes, as Dr. Evil would say, one billion dollars. My impression is nowhere near as good enough as Ada's, who does a really, really good <laughs> Dr. Evil. We should record that on video. OK, so I'm just having a bit of fun. But in actual fact, what I always do as a matter of course here is I always double the invoice price. So if a client's paid, you know, £2,000 for a painting, then I'll make sure that this is done for £4,000. Uh, a quick guarantee, uh, sorry, about um, uh, you know, when it was purchased and then a signature. And importantly, it's on headed note paper. Um, now, this I do in Microsoft Word. Again, I am not affiliated to any software company, uh, but it's very simple in Microsoft Word. You can just import your logo at the top, uh, put a text box down at the bottom and put the, the details in, you know, your email address, website address, that kind of thing. Headed note paper and then just fill in in a text box the bit in between. And once you've got your template, you, know, you can copy those words if you want, then you've got it forever and a day. So all that pretty much goes together. Uh, I do actually stick those into a cellophane bag, by the way, but just for this purposes, it will probably reflect in the lights. I haven't done that. And then that all goes together with a business card at the top. And because I'm quite anal about these things and I like everything to match, <laughs> I can stick it, stick a red paper clip uh, around it because that's my company colours. Uh, and that's just a really nice little combination of paperwork. The important stuff, the provenance that a client needs when they open it at the other end, once that goes into an A4. Please don't bend envelope, ta ta ta, like one of those, and that's it. That's the paperwork done. And I say, once you've got a template, at the end of the day, you just overwrite and produce a different one every time. Uh, great. Well, I hope that helps. That's certainly my paperwork anyway. You're free to download the Photoshop template. I'll pop a link down below. And uh, if you've got any questions, please do give us a shout. There we go. That's what yours is going to look like. Overwrite accordingly. OK, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, watching today's video. I hope that, hope that has been uh, helpful for you. Any questions, uh, pop them down in the comments box and I promise I'll try to get to as many as I can in the shortest possible space in time. So have a uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to give us a subscribe. Remember what I said about the live feeds. They're absolutely going mental. We're really getting some great viewers now. It's yay. <laughs> Aid is always on control. He's the one doing all the, the live mixing with the uh, with the audio and the video. And it's really, really going great. So we'd love to see you there. It's just for fun. We're not selling anything. It's just for fun. Come join us. 
7.30 p.m. every Wednesday. Links will be on the channel. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon.